This is the first ever turbo engine on the Mazda CX-5 2019 model year. There's a new signature trim. Let's get straight into it. Side profile, nothing much has changed. There are 19 inch wheels. Up front you have LED day runners, LED regular lights, LED fog lights that are a little tiny. Um, and the turn signals are not LED, which is a little strange for me. Um, front end looks absolutely beautiful. Nice, big, uh, pronounced grille, but you know, it's not overkill. Uh, let's take a look at the rear. Keep this as steady as we can. Again, more LED lights. And what's interesting is there's no badging that says signature. There's no badging that says turbo. And I, that's kind of like they're a nice subtle way of saying, yeah, we're a big deal, but uh, we don't really need to brag about it. So I'm going to jump into the trunk, like not quite literally, but anyways, you know what I mean? So first thing, I love that they've made the best use of the space. Spare tire also covers, or sorry, also is used uh, as a Bose amp. Very cool for the 10 speaker audio system. What I love, love, love is not just this that brings down the right side, also known as the passenger side. There's two of these because it's a 40-20-40 split. You want the middle part down only, you handle the small one. Down it goes. You want the big one down, down it goes. Now, interestingly, if the middle, the left and the middle were up, you just press the bigger latch and they both go down. So it's nice that you can isolate the middle part of the folding seats. Oh, let's show you some uh, cargo space. So with the seats up, uh, if you just want to rewind like 20 or 30 seconds, uh, 875 liters. And then with those down flat, because my seats are so far back, I couldn't get them flat. Uh, you get a total of 1,687 liters of cargo space. Close that up. A uh, very cool thing as well uh, that our friends at Mazda have done. Come on, there we go. Is you'd expect your HVAC stuff to be here. So there are air vents, which is nice, but again, making the most of what you have. Heated seats for your outside passengers are there. You open this up, storage and your USB ports. Very smart, cup holders, heated seats, storage, USB. Mazda, well done. Ooh, excuse me. Uh, let's take a look, let's, you know, let's do the front. Let's not stop the video. So kind of quirky is that uh, your memory seat positions and buttons are on the side of the seat. The brake pedal, sorry it's dirty, it's winter, it's Canada, it's gross. There's that nice little angled part on the right side of the brake pedal. So when you put your foot on the gas pedal, um, it, you know, you reduce the uh, amount of risk of kind of accidentally tapping uh, the brake pedal. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, how can we do this? There we go. So see what I mean? Like just my foot's on an angle there. And it just, as opposed to it being like that little, or that full square where I'd have a higher risk of accidentally uh, tapping the brake by accident. So well done Mazda on being uh, ergonomically smart. Push button start, big display. So your outer displays are the uh, traditional analogs, digital display up front, um, get all sorts of information, standard stuff. Uh, what's interesting is there's still this old school uh, twisty dimmer. <laughs> so for a car that has so much tech, uh, I like that they kind of kept this old, uh, little bit of old school technology in there. Nice, nice wood trim in here. I'm not really a big fan of wood, but I love that Mazda has used it so sparingly. It's there. There's like a tiny triangle-ish space there. Uh, and there's a spot there. Interior, soft touch, soft touch, soft touch. It is just an absolutely gorgeous interior. It's a premium feel. Um, and you know, you get rid of this and you know, you, you put it right up there with the premium cars and it just got such a good finish. The interior space is gorgeous and it's just so well done by Mazda. Uh, taking a look at the seats, big, big side supports right there. Uh, very, very comfortable seats. Um, one thing I noticed for me specifically for my body type, there's a lot of space uh, between my thigh and I guess the underneath of my knee and the end of the seat. Um, so I have long, long legs and I've got a very short upper body. So I'm kind of imbalanced that way. So I'm hoping next year um, Mazda will throw on one of those little um, autumn, uh, manual seat uh, or cushion extenders. Um, that would make a big difference for me. What I also hope they do is throw in a panoramic sunroof. Sunroof's nice, but uh, in a world of bigger sunroof and more light in cars, I think Mazda, I hope Mazda uh, will throw one of those in next year. Uh, standard stuff here, there's your uh, gear lever and it's just nice, it's nice piano black trim. Uh, so it's nice and shiny, but it also holds fingerprints, you can't really see it, but anyways, fingerprints are there, there's a little bit of storage there. You only get sport or normal mode 
I sounded funny. You only get sport or normal mode, no eco. There's your parking brake, there's your auto hold, and that's your uh, HD mod commander. That controls everything here. Sorry, everything here controls everything up there. Really easy to use, no, to me, no guesswork. And it's just very, 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 very simple uh, and intuitive. Um, there's your uh, little storage container, a couple of USBs. Um, sorry, that tray is supposed to go flat around here, but just I need to have access to that stuff down there, so. Um, that's what I did. But anyways, there's an option for a second level of storage uh, for smaller things up front. Uh, Bose 10 speaker audio system. There's one of the speakers. There's actually a good look at the brown leather in this uh, in this trim uh, versus the black uh, on the door. And it's, it's very, very sharp, I think. Um, I feel anyway. Uh, same thing with the seats. Very, very, very upscale, very premium feeling. Uh, for $40,000, I think $40,950, it's really not that out of a deal like there's a lot of stuff you get uh i love that the heated seats are up top and the cool seats are at the bottom heat rises blah blah blah. funny 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 heated steering wheel uh it only heats from here down to there so basically where the stitches are so the top of your wheel is not heated the bottom of your wheel is not heated as well eh, you know better some than none i guess there's a blank panel switch i don't really like that i really don't like that there's four blank panel switches out of six altogether. Like, I don't know, just, yeah. That's my two cents on that. Um, aside from those kind of minor annoyances and that's more of a personal thing, uh, the vehicle is very, very well put together. It's very comfortable, uh, great looking on the outside, very comfortable on the inside. Uh, to me, it's, it's roomy. Uh, I didn't feel cramped at all during uh, the week that I had the car. So with that, uh, I'm gonna wrap this part up and we'll be right back and uh, take the 2019 Mazda CX-5 signature on the road uh, and let's see what it's like in motion. All right, driving portion, 2019 Mazda CX-5 top trim signature, 2.5 turbo four. You get 227 horsepower if you throw in regular 87 octane, but you go up to the good stuff and that jumps up to 250 horsepower as well, uh, 310 pound-feet of torque, so there's a lot of get up and go in the car. Uh, driving impressions, um, it drives really well, and the turbo kicks in, um, I, I don't wanna say quietly, but it's just, it's it's very subtle uh, as far as sounds go, but as far as what you feel beneath your right foot, there is a lot of momentum there, and the car just goes, and it's, it's a smooth drive, and it's kind of that smooth boost as opposed to um, that kind of jerky, rushy kind of feel that you uh, that you sometimes get with turbo engines. Very little bit of a, uh, very little bit of a, very little turbo lag. Uh, you know, every video has a couple of, not quite stutters, but a couple of flubs in it. You know what? Let's keep it in because, you know, I'm far from perfect. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, fuel efficiency wise, I've done 331-ish kilometers. Uh, most of it's been city driving and the weather has been really crappy over the past week. Lots of snow, um, uh, a little bit of rain as well. So I haven't had a chance to do as much highway driving as I would have liked. So my fuel efficiency is 11.7 kilometers per 100, sorry, 11.7 liters per 100 kilometers. Um, higher than what Mazda has uh, has put out. Um, and just I, I think that's just strictly attributed to uh, a lot of the city driving uh, done. Uh, I've carried around some people, uh, as well as some guitars, uh, as well as a little bit of cargo, so all that contributes as well. Um, creature comforts in the car, everything is so easy as far as the HVAC stuff goes, no guessing. Heated steering wheel, easily within range, same thing with the heated seats, just it's a classic layout, it's so simple, I love it. The uh, infotainment system, which is obviously there, it's a touch screen if you're so inclined, but I like my stuff fingerprint free. So I use this uh, all the time. I think it's also safer instead of reaching up here, looking back, eyes off the road, head here, and then back um, this way using uh, the little controller. Um, it's just, it's a, to me, it's a smoother and smarter way to do things. Uh, heads up display is color. It's got stop sign recognition as well as speed limit recognition as well. So everything's right in front of you. Blind spot monitoring, uh, a couple of buttons, or a couple of uh, little lights show up. Uh, they turn orange when someone's in your blind spot. Uh, so that is also a very cool thing uh, as far as being alert and aware of what's going on around you. Um, the interior, just it's, it's, it's well made. It, it, it feels premium. And I said this in the uh, 
the I guess the non-moving in-car portion, or sorry, the uh, just the inside portion of the vehicle. It just it feels good. Um, really strong upscale premium feel to it as well. Um, you know, it could probably give uh, some of the premium brands a run for their money as far as fit and finish go. Um, a lot of soft touch materials. Uh, the wood, nice. I don't care for wood on the inside of cars, uh, so eh. Uh, but the nice uh, aluminum metal finishes here, just enough uh, of a premium feel without kind of going overboard on it. I really, really like that. Uh, sound system is terrific. The Bose 10 speaker. Um, I mentioned it before, but on the A pillars, there are uh, a couple of speakers as well, just to give you that kind of full cycle of sound and a bit of a, a sound stop just being involved in music since I was like four. Um, so I'm particular about what my sound systems were like, and the, uh, the Mazda CX-5 signature uh, trim has uh, a really fantastic uh, sound system for the price point. Um, again, it, it looks good, it feels good, it drives really, really smoothly. Uh, cornering handling, you know, it's it's like a it's 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 good. It's 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 reliable uh, as far as you know. I never had any feelings of uh, oversteer, understeer. Um, oh, I don't I don't know if uh, the car is going to make this turn uh, or whatnot. It's, it's it's a really well put together vehicle, and I think it's going to give you know some of the other uh, high volume uh, cars in this segment a run for their money, kind of like the. Rav Four, you know, which is you know, I think one of the uh, one of the best sellers uh, in this segment you now by far, and the Honda CRV is that far behind. Uh, but you know, Mazda, you know, they keep doing the right things, and they keep putting out the right vehicles, and they keep making them the right way. So I think it's only a matter of time before uh, you know Mazda creeps up, and you see a ton more of these on the road than you already do. Uh, anyways, that's gonna wrap the video up. Uh, Thank you for watching. Any questions, anything I missed? Uh, I don't think I missed anything, but again, if I did, let me know in the comments section. I will do my best to get, uh, to get answers for you. Uh, thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe. I uh, definitely appreciate the support. And as I get my phone to stop the GoPro, uh, I will thank you again. Uh, all right, until next time.